Hi, Randy K7AGE. In Hem Nation Show 164, Bob showed us a passive audio mixer that he built years ago. Well, we talk a lot about audio and mixing things here, and it's a four-channel line mixer. Now, understand, we're talking line level. What I use this for is the output of the transceivers, the receiver part, to mix all of those into one powered speaker, the schematic. And it's extremely simple. That is it. And uh, here is the parts list. And I'm going to hold this up and you can freeze frame this uh, later on from the replay. And uh, So I thought I would show you guys how to build one of these mixers yourself. So let's get started. This is the box I'm going to use. It's about eight inches wide, almost two inches tall. Top comes off and we'll mount everything within this, this box. These are all the parts of the project. I have four 10K pots. Each input will have a quarter inch jack, just like on Bob's. On two of the inputs, I'm also gonna wire up a eighth inch jack. And the third and fourth inputs, I'm gonna wire up an RCA phono plug. This will allow me to use either quarter inch or eighth inch or RCA cables going into the mixer. On the output side, I will have a quarter inch, just like on Bob's. I will also have a eighth inch and an RCA jack so I can connect to different cables or even multiple devices. Okay, I'm using the LibreOffice Draw program to lay out the metalwork for the mixer. First thing I'm going to do is draw a box, rectangle, and I'm gonna set the size so I can right click on that, size and position, and the box is going to be 8.0 inches wide by 1 and 3 quarters tall. And that's the size of the front and back of the box. And I'm going to make the line here a little thicker just to make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is create a symbol for the pot. I'm going to select, I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm just going to set the relative size. I'm going to right click, size and position and it's going to take a 3 8 or 3 7 5 of an inch hole in the chassis. So that's relatively the size of the circle. Okay, the next thing I do is create another circle, which is kind of the relative size of the overall pot in the back, including the leads. And I measured that, and I know that's one and a half inches, so 1.5, and now I have that. I also want to make a little couple crosshairs so I know where to put my center punch. So I'm going to select a line and I'm just going to create a line say like that and a line let's say vertical. Now this is where the drawing tools really come in handy. I can select all of these and if I go to modify alignment and select horizontal centered it'll do this and if I select alignment vertical center it'll do that and now I have all these lines and circles brought together I'm going to select them all and with modify here I'm going to select group and now I have have these have a symbol for the pot I can hold down the control and drag and make four more of these and I'm going to say I want the pots to be about an inch and a half in from the edge. So I'm just going to draw a line to help me set that. And there it is, inch and a half. I got lucky. So I'm going to put this, oops, I'm going to draw this over here. And I'm going to set this circle to be right on the edge of that line. And I'm to, oops, do the same thing. I'm going to draw the line over here. And I'm going to bring the circle down and I have it set on that line. So now the the left and right circles are an inch and a half inch from the edge of the box. Now this is where the CAD really helps. I can select all of those symbols and select modify alignment and select the top bottom center that gets them all centered up and then I can select modify again distribution and move this out of the way. I'm going to select horizontal spacing and bang now I have all four of those are lined up across the what'll be the front of the box. 
So to save some time, I'm not going to show you all the steps, but basically I did the same thing. I created symbols for the quarter inch connectors. Use the centering. Now I'm positioning five connectors across the rear and using the center and the distribution commands, I'm able to get those positioned where I wanted them. Then I had symbols for the quarter inch connectors for the eighth inch and RCAs and put an extra connector for the output. I created some labels for the front and rear and I labeled all the connectors and then I made some small tweaks to get things positioned around just the way I wanted it and called. So I will save this and I will print this out and then we'll transfer these centers to the metal. So here's the printout of what we just laid out. What I'm going to do now is cut these out and tape them onto the metalwork. I have these both cut out now and what I'm going to do is tape them onto the front and back of the box here, get them centered up and get them straight and then I'll use this as a guide to do all my drilling. It's pretty straight. I'm just going to tape that on there in the corner on the edge. Okay, so that's what the rear is going to look like with all the connectors. This is where the, the pots, you can see the outer circle there, it's centered up and that'll look good. One, two, three, four. Thank you very much for watching K7AGE Randy 73.